Good morning, Trinity Baptist Church. Uh, I was talking last week with Eric Ehrman about uh, this, this letter from Luther that I mentioned a few weeks ago. That might be backwards in your uh, screen. I'll send you a link. Um, to the Reverend Dr. Johann Hess, pastor at Breslau, and to his fellow servants of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the question is, in this letter, is it right for a Christian to flee from the plague? Um, we were talking about just how almost eerily uh, applicable this whole letter is to us today. When they faced plague in Luther's time, you know, it would sweep through the city, and their version of social distancing was just to leave. And so it's a very practical question that Luther is considering from a biblical perspective. Um, should we flee or should we stay? And what I'd like to do this week is revisit this. I, I thought, as Eric was telling me this, you know, <clears throat> I read that, but I should read it uh, more closely. Uh, this week, I'd like to let Luther pick our Bible passages, just kind of going through this article. I think it's very well thought through. It's very centered on what does Scripture say, uh, and let him choose some of the passages that are pertinent for us this week. The first part, and, and our, our verses for today, in the first part, Luther is establishing that it's really not wrong to go, and it's really not wrong to stay. We're, we're, we can't just choose one of those two things. We're going to need better uh, uh, wisdom for specific cases within that. Uh, two of the passages that he chooses to, to establish this come from Matthew and from Acts, and those will be our passages this morning. His passage arguing that it's not wrong to stay in the city, even if the plague is sweeping through is what Jesus says to his disciples in Matthew chapter 10, uh, verses 28 and 29. Jesus says, And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. You know, the point being, we should not fear who or what can only kill the body, this virus included. And so Luther says, at one point, you can stay in God's name. That certainly is no sin. Uh, but then he, he points us to this little um, <clears throat> short story in Acts chapter 9, verses 23, 24, and 25, about Saul fleeing from Damascus. It says, when many days had passed, the Jews plotted to kill him, but their plot became known to Saul. They were watching the gates day and night in order to kill him, but his disciples took him by night and let him down through an opening in the wall, lowering him in a basket. And Luther's point with this passage, and it's a good one, I think, is that it's also not necessarily wrong to uh, seek to save your life. He says at one point, to flee from death and to save one's life is a natural tendency implanted by God. And it's not forbidden unless it's against God and neighbor. And so he says... Uh, you can flee in God's name as long as you don't neglect your duty toward your neighbor. And uh, in the next few days, we'll see that that becomes the guiding principle for, uh, for Luther. You know, love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, Luther is going to increasingly have us uh, use that as kind of our decision-making tool, our razor for when to stay and when to go, when to distance and when to not, when to... Uh, flee the plague, and went to remain in the city. Well, we need to love our neighbors. But he starts here in Acts 9 and in Matthew, establishing that it's not necessarily wrong to stay, and it's not necessarily wrong to go. And that's a pretty good biblical foundation to start with this week. Love you all.